Hello, 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 hello. Say hello. Welcome to my channel. This is Kitty Caps, where I watch it with you because we in this together, honey. But before we start, I just want to say thank you for stopping by in the first place. It means the world to me. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And let's get into it, okay? I will be recapping the series, well not series, the season premiere of Love After Lockup. If I'm not mistaken, this is season eight. Let's just start off with the least. Let's, let's, let's get Chance. And what is even her name? Is it Brittany? Handsome Taylor Child. There's been so many Britneys on this dang on show, honey. I, I can't even keep up. I can't keep up, okay? So a little background on Chance and Taylor. They have like... Chance, I mean, Chance is like in his 40s. Taylor's in her 20s, so it lets you know they have almost a 20-year gap. Um, he was in prison, I think, for robbery, and he did drugs. And she is uh, now going to be, I'm now a mother of four, but she was, before she met him, she was a mother of three. Um, one of her, the father of her children was tragically, I think he was, he passed away in a car accident. So you could tell she was already like from from the from me to her she was definitely insecure. She definitely was doing um, a lot of stuff. I feel like to because she wanted her children to have a consistent father figure in their life. So I really feel like that helped that pushed her to kind of like settle. Um, and I mean, Chance is an ugly, he's not a bad looking guy, but he definitely is a a, a boo boo head for lack of better words. And I don't understand how come. I, just for me, the reason why I don't like Taylor. I think between the two of them, Chance is the worst. Because um, he's definitely manipulating her. He's definitely definitely picked a younger girl because he picked a younger girl with children. Cause he, and what type of background that she has. Because I feel like he wanted someone to control. Um. So I don't like her because I don't like anyone on this show who just brings people into the house when they have children. You are allowed to risk your life, do dumb stuff, dumb stuff when you plan with your life, but not when you have children. She has multiple little girls. I mean, whether it's, whether they boys or girls, um, she has little children that, from my, he gave me the it because he always seemed very controlling. And he always seemed like he wanted to isolate her. He definitely helped push her sister out of the house. Let's just say that. So, last time we saw them, they were beefing over money. Um, mostly because he was just spending his money wherever he wanted to without consideration to her. I mean, it got so bad that she wanted to hold off on their wedding. Um, I don't even think they... I don't know if they ended up getting married or not. I don't think so. Um, but she ended up getting pregnant with a baby, their baby boy, baby boy named Mason. This is his second child. He already has a grown up child. Um, so her fourth, his second. And so that's kind of what's sticking them together at this point. And besides the fact that, you know, I feel like Chance doesn't have anywhere to go, but he definitely, from, from what I've seen last season, he's definitely willing to cheat on her and he blames her for any like little small mistake. So him and Taylor don't have no money. But they decided they want to start up a pos epoxy business, like a table. So it's supposed to be like an, a, a table business plus doing home improvements. This little business, I'm sure, is really running off the strength of their their notoriety from the show. And Taylor's like table making ability. Because one thing that's for sure. Um, Chase can do no construction. If that was his... I don't know if he purposely made the little room he made for her sister, bad Bobby, bad, but it was a mess. It was not not worth it. And people was almost like, oh, you need to, she needs to be grateful. For she was living there before him, first of all. And why do I be, need to be grateful? Because you want to isolate her and control her. Head turn. So they just started a business together because they're broke. I don't know how, I don't know why they didn't just, I mean, he's a felon. I think he's a, I mean, he's robbed a bank, so I'm assuming he's a felon. Um, so I mean, probably it's hard for him to find a job because he's a thief. But he wants whenever something in his life doesn't go right, he wants to blame it on Taylor. 
Now, I don't agree with Taylor in this episode because she's like, um, if we go to this lady house, when we go to this, like, my friend's house or whatever the heck the girl's name is, please don't be, you know, trying to offer her other services because we just go on the front kitchen table. I don't agree with it. Now, I don't think he needs to learn some finesse and maybe push in, you know, oh, you know, I do cabinets, I do, you know, blah, blah. Don't be like, oh, I notice your house is crappy. If your work isn't up to par like that, but if you say, hey, I, you know, just so you know, um, if you really enjoyed the work we did with your table, please feel free to call us back because we do X, Y, and Z, boom, boom, boom. That's how you get it in there. I didn't like how she was just like, no, no kids, don't do that. Like, oh my God, she called us for a table so don't bring her, like, no. That's like um that's like if I'm getting my hair done, why would it my stylist already tell me, Hey, you know, I also do sew ins, I also do blah 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 if you ever look interested in that. It's all about the finesse and how you put it in there. He didn't have no finesse. He I feel like he's jealous of the fact that people are calling for her stuff and not for his crappy construction work. Um, but it also on her end, she has to learn how to like say it in a way that's not like completely putting him down in front of other people. Yada yada yada. Also, neither, he was even less prepared than she was for the whole situation. And so she basically tell him, like, well, why don't you go sit outside? Because she didn't like what she was saying to, to the lady. And so while he outside, he get a call from some boy and some some man in, who just got out of jail that he was in jail with doing business. Now, I'm going to just say this alleged. It sounds like maybe they was doing some, I mean, so only, only so many legal things you can do in jail for money. Um, he's like, oh, so you, he probably saw his butt on TV. You know, you owe me about a thousand dollars. So, and I'm like, they beefing over a thousand dollars is not cheap. I'm not finna sit there and say, especially when you broke, I mean, getting a hundred dollars, getting fifty dollars is like a major accomplishment. But a thousand dollars between, they probably spend that in a, in, in a few weeks between, I mean, he was willing to drop 120 on a dang on paid sprayer. And he gonna blame that on her. He's like, well, everything, he, he says, I would be a better painter, so-and-so, well, so, if I didn't have to sit in the house and cuddle with you and watch movies with you. And um, then he says, well, I would have paid my debt off to her if I hadn't, you know, got caught up in just being with her and, and all that kind of stuff. I said, no, I would have respected more if he said, well, you know what, I ain't pay my debt because I didn't want to. It's a prison debt, and I'm going to have a baby. So that's why I need to work on is focusing on rebuilding my life. So I ain't think about it. But he going to tell me, he seemed like he had more quote unquote respect from the man on the phone that he did for Taylor and I ain't like that at all and of course he didn't tell her because he don't tell her anything next we have this is Brittany Key Rock and Brittany I wouldn't say they're my favorite well I guess thus far they are definitely one of my favorites they seem like out of all of them who have the most potential to work it out if you know just when they grow up a little bit more being together a little bit longer so Key Rock is um a trans man. Okay. Key Rock is a trans man and Brittany is a, a cis woman and they met while they were in jail together. I think they have a lot of potential to work out. They just have some stuff that Key Rock gives me he's very insecure and he's very like controlling. So it and she's definitely a little bit more naive and submissive. Um, I mean, she went to jail, I mean, j because she wanted to make money and her little boyfriend at the time convinced her to start setting, setting people up to rob them. Um, and if I'm wrong about that, that's what I remember from when I watched today's day little segment last season. So what we see there is Key Rock wants to propose to, <clears throat> wants to propose to Brittany, which he'd already had given her a promise ring while he was still in jail. I mean. And it, it was such a, I love his mama. His mama is so sweet, so welcoming, so mature. I, I just, it makes me miss my mom. And so he's like, okay, mom, I want to be with Brittany, Brittany. And his mom is like, yeah, I think she's the one. I think she's a good, good girl. And he tells his mama he wants to propose to her. And so she's like, okay, wait, I have something for you. And when she comes out, she comes out with a, a family heirloom from his, I think she, I think she said his, her great, his great grandmother. And um, she said she wanted, she always wanted to give it to the first of her boys that got married. They're both emotional and it's, it's such, it's, it's a beautiful ring. I love the ring. Only thing I didn't like about this is that why does she have to prove her love? Because he says, okay, I want to propose to her. So first he tells her, Brittany, I mean, okay, we're going to dinner. 
And then he's like, when, when we get in the car, no, we're not going to dinner. We're going horseback riding. And she's like, what? Because she's kind of scared of animals, but she hasn't been horseback riding since she was a little girl. So he knows that it was important to her. And I love the fact that he remembered to bring her appropriate clothing and shoes for horseback riding, quote unquote. But they're not going horseback riding. They're going skydiving. And he isn't telling her because she knows she won't want that. And let me tell you something. I'm scared of both horses and I'm scared of heights. Between the two, I'd rather go horseback riding. And I looked at my man and I was like, if I have to do that to prove my love to you, we not get married. But keep it pushing. So she's like, he's like, oh, I want her to prove herself to me. And I'm like, oh my God. That's the kind of stuff that I find annoying about Kirok is that I think he's just still insecure about being trans. And he, he really want to make sure that she's going to be with him regardless. Um, but... <sighs> I'm like, she's pretty much already, her, you know, at, at odds with her family because she's she chooses to be with you. And, it, you know, there, that's a whole story. So, it's important because um, Q, uh, Brittany, she's Hispanic and Latina. And her family is not very open to, we don't know exactly why. This is this is what the, the contingent of the debate is. We, um, Kira thinks that it may be because he's a black man because when they first moved into the neighborhood her father when she was a baby girl her father got jumped by seven black dudes and she's like well why you have to bring over they black and he's like well you told me they black and i'm like girl don't try to take it back now because you won't it wasn't it's an important it's not to make a racist thing but it's an important thing to note that that can affect how people look at somebody you know he may not her father or her parents may not necessarily hate all black people but that can have a little grudge against them you know like that obviously because she don't want her parents to be looked at as racist on tv anyway so they have a little argument about that but they make up over they come to a, they come to like a agree to disagree type of thing and it doesn't deter him from wanting to propose to her or go on a date and, and vice versa um i just get it i think that she's just very sensitive about her family anybody would be she loves her family um as majority of us do when we wouldn't even if sometimes we know that they're wrong we don't want to especially on tv especially like have solidified proof that that's what we think but she said that she thinks that the parents are just n not happy that she's with a trans person so eventually they get to the place and she's like she's annoyed but she's handling it she's taking it and she's just like oh do i really gotta do this and because she loves him she does it and he makes up for everything when he calls her abuela and asks her to marry Brittany. <laughs> not in the best spanish but he tried and i loved it i loved it so much i think it was that's why i say it like they have faults but their faults are things that will get better if they put the effort into it and as they mature with age because they're still very young, like their issue of the fertility and if they're going to have ch children is something that they need to address and should be addressed before they get married. And I know that they are young, but because they both are have going to have fertility issues, it's something that needs to be discussed and solidified before they agree to be with each other. And they both have to be able to say, agree that what um that even if they don't have children or do have children they still want to be together let's get into melissa and louis do anybody else agree melissa need to go ahead and tell louis she got that she got the d and she don't she good now because honey the way she be treating that man like and it's funny because most of the time the people that come out of jail are the worst he it's her like she got the at some point in their relationship she got the ick and you can tell she got the ick. I think that she saw how can I, I feel like it was that moment after they had um they had to go to the hotel to do it and they had to sneak out his mom's house. That moment that I would have sat there and I would have been like, I'm for I didn't know she had kids. You know she got like two, three kids, right? The moment I would have sat there and be like, Am I really 40 sneaking out of a grown man's house to go have sex at a hotel? Like I would have just been like Mm -mm. like i don't want to do that i'm in my 20s and i don't want to sneak out of a, um, um, of a man's parents house to do that so why would i want to do that at 40 now you know he had like messed up teeth or whatever so they met what so background on them they knew each other 
in when they was in high school he's like two three he was a freshman or she was a sophomore he was a senior some some crap like that and she felt like she was the nerdy not so cute girl and he was the super hot bad boy senior dude so she held on to that fantasy for oh, there's a cat that's the cat that i've been looking for <gasps> okay sidebar there was this cat that me and my man found that he, was, he used to come on our roof to get food like I don't know how to explain how y'all set up, how my house is set up, but my apartment is is level with, with another roof, whatever. So we used to feed him stuff, and he went he went disappearing. Like this had to be like two years ago, he went disappearning, and I blamed it on my husband, my man, because I felt like he didn't like the foods you gave him. Okay, but I think I just saw him crawling down another roof across from me. So they met in high school, whatever. Well, they didn't. Mean, I don't even think he knew she existed in high school. So. Some kind of way they linked up on Facebook or something like that. She was like, let me reach back to to, to, to my high school days and get that and, and finally get the thing that I've been dreaming about for the last 20 years of my life. So flash forward, he's actually a pretty do, decent guy. She's upset that he works at a pizza park. First of all, she's not, she's not, that's just my man ain't that bad, but he a mama boy too. His mama, and thank God his mama actually liked me because I could, I probably wouldn't be with him if his mama was like this girl his mama clearly don't like her and she, they need to be on um, a mama's boy okay they need to be on the other like you know, on the network so the mama be all been in business and he be let her on me in the business why are you having a whole conversation with a, like facetime conversation with your girl like a, a semi fight with your girl in front of your mama like he won't you know what i'm saying like it's because the mama even though he don't like quote unquote like her being in his business it make him feel good and he got someone in his corner so they beefing over a lot of stuff they beefing over the mama they beefing over the fact that he got the job she wants she beefing over the fact that her family really don't think it's, he's up to par to their standards and quick question so they her sister last season had the um had the dreads and the twisties and all the kind of stuff are they like do they got some brown in them just curiously because i didn't think it when i seen her by herself but when i saw her and the daddy like all of them together at the table i was like huh no am i the only one that saw that was that just me so it's a whole person of things so homie used to be on drugs i think i said it before he was on drugs real bad real bad so his teeth fell i think he was on that mess that meth that meth he was on drugs real bad so his teeth got all messed up and you know he was very insecure about that and that's something that her family consistently made fun of was his teeth like and her even like clearly being ashamed about it they're gonna get his teeth fixed she i think she wanted him to get i don't know what she wanted him to get i don't know veneers i don't know i guess she wanted him to get more white higher quality of teeth he got he got dentures because he had to get all his teeth removed because they i mean i don't know all of them but he got majority of them removed and she didn't like it and it's they're not too big it's just that his face is real small but it does make him look younger like i ain't gonna lie like it make him look a little younger i don't like him either and he's insecure but he don't like him either and she's a terrible girlfriend because she basically like laughs at him and in front of the uh, front of a group of people at her job she's like let me see your teeth and i'm just like girl he could roast you down because even with his bad teeth he look better than you honey I, don't, I think you need to sit down somewhere you is a paper bag type of girl so I think that you need to like not be worried about how other people look just because you go to the gym. Gym can't fix an ugly face. She ain't that ugly, but her head, you know, she wants to have like a little break. Um, and so his response, even though he just got some girl's number, is to travel to New Jersey to surprise her. She clearly didn't like surprise. She kissed him or whatever, but she did not seem that very enthusiastic to see him. Even when they get to his her house, well, she said you can put your things in the guest room, which to him and to everybody else meant that we ain't sleeping together. Probably gonna have sex. If they stay together, I'm, I will be really surprised because she don't like him. She seemed like she really don't like him. And he's starting to not like her either. Cam and Eris, um, they grew on me because at first I ain't like him. He's, you know, but you have to give people grace because these people have just been out of prison, but he seemed very childish for his age. Uh, and I like the fact that she was just I, you know how I feel about people moving random people into their house when they got children children child you know how I feel but I think it really worked for them as far as like the relationship worked out it worked out for them in the end because he very quickly learned from his mistakes as far in their relationship and grew up he had a family that held him responsible when it came to her um, she holds him responsible the little girl holds him responsible 
So for me, I think that they will work out in the long run. So they got pregnant. They got married. They got pregnant. She got, uh, and she looks so beautiful pregnant. I hope I look that pretty pregnant. Like, I just think, I just think even the, the extra weight and the swollenness on her face just, it just even just highlights how pretty she is. Um, but they getting kicked out of the house because she feels like, or she says that the people in, I guess, in her, um, I don't know if they got an apartment or the house, but whoever, the people around them don't want a family there. You know, he's a, he got caught, like, trafficking, trying to traffic some marijuana on the, um, on the plane and whatnot. But he's doing better. He's definitely one of my favorite character, favorites of the show. And so, they're just mostly stressed out about that because that has, that is a big stressor. Like, she's super pregnant, like, super pregnant. And no one wants to be that pregnant or in general, especially he has a little girl and be worried about where they're going to live. So, um, he brings them to like, it's, it's considered, it's called an RV, right? Cause it's not a trailer. He brings them to an RV and he feels like that would be a good investment because he travels to do his shows and you can't get put out of a house on wheels. You don't like the idea, the little girl don't like the idea. She's like, no, I mean, they finna have a new baby. If that's what you had to do, okay. But you know, you can eventually, if you keep looking, you'll find a place to stay. It may not be the place that you want to stay, but it will be a place to stay. And I do agree that it probably will be cheaper to live in a house on wheels, but I wouldn't want to be taking care of a newborn in an RV. Too much stress, not enough space. Next, we got Joy Nomi and Red, another delusional woman who got a man who got a child calling a man that's not his pappy, his pappy. Their met story is crazy. They met. Uh, so Joy like to talk people online. Let's just put it like that. She like to talk people online. Joy got introduced to Red through one of his friends or vice versa. I don't remember if she got introduced through Red. How she a little boy? Because she had the moon moon bang with three different men, probably more. Not trying to it's just shame her because you have sex with who you want to have sex with, sis. Um, how, and especially because he in jail, y'all barely, I don't even, they didn't even meet until he got out of jail. Um, uh, so I don't really consider it a real relationship, but in, if they consider it a real relationship, then she cheated. But that doesn't matter. She has sex, she got three, dis three different possible baby daddies. So instead of telling one of them or getting a blood a, a blood test to make sure one of them take care of their child, she decided that she, because of the guilt of cheating on her man, she's not going to do that. She's just going to, you know, she told him and he, ex he, he accepted as best as he could and he assumed responsibility on the baby. My silence is to tell you what kind of bullshit is that? Her and Dan and, and Dan gone, um, Brit, uh, Taylor on the same level, mom wise to me. Questionable as parents, okay. On top of that, tell me why it's not his fault. But Red Mama is a is a starts with a P, ends with foul type of kid that's around Joyce, but son age. Thank God she ain't bring that little baby around him. Like, oh my God. Oh. Honey, why? <sighs> Child. Ch man, they whole story. Anyway, so they meet. She got a baby. So to tell, and I'm going to tell you, when we found this out, even the sister found out at the same time that she found out that she had three possible baby daddies. The sister turned her neck so hard. Honey, like, you ain't tell me that. And when she said, you ain't tell me that. And even the lawyer was like, so you trying to make somebody else the daddy of a baby. And you ain't ever told the actual baby daddies that they got a the baby. Blink, blink, blink. <laughs> anyway, moving on for that. They got out of jail. Everything is going decently. Okay, she a little insecure. He, he is 30. He want to party. He want to party. He want to know other girls. He and he feel like because she had a baby and she slept with multiple men, he should do the same. So they after they have sex or whatever, they get into it. Don't know why they get into it. This on the last season. 
They get into it. And he go meet up with this girl. He called his best friend. And they end up, he basically has sex with a whole nother girl. Not even like a week after they, I think it's been like two, three days. He cheated on his girl two, three days out of jail. And it looked like in the same hotel building. Child. Fast forward. She forgives him. And she go back because she left because he he wanted to know what he found. She left. She go back. She pick him up. They going back. To, I think they from New Mexico. She thinks she from New Mexico. So they're gonna go. To, they're going from Missouri to New Mexico. And he said the only re. He said he didn't even say like oh I went back with Joy because I realized that I loved her blah blah. He said I want. He said it's because homegirl the other girl Cootie Cat wasn't as good as Joy's. <laughs> Are you fucking me? Ma'am, sir, everybody, whoever listening, what is going on with what is going on with the world? What is going on with the world? So totally forgot. Joy he proposed they should not be together. I'm I'm I just so annoyed with these terrible mothers. I'm just so annoyed with these terrible fucking mothers. We got Chevelle and Quayla. I don't remember much about Quayla, but she another one. Cause I ain't watched that season. I only watched clips. See another one that moved a man that she barely know into so her child and had a child calling him daddy and all that kind of bull crap. Another questionable mother. And she got a terrible wig. She got terrible fashion sense. Child. And and this was supposed to be her upgrade. But the wig was this, the same. The clothes was the same. And it looked like she might have got a little BBL back there. <sighs> I, her outfit with the um the cheap little denim thing she was wearing, I think. Cause she got big ass shoulders. She should have had the denim, like it either should have been like a denim top, and that maybe at the bottom, or vice versa, maybe real jeans and that little top. Cause it was not given what it was supposed to give. Dress, learn how to dress for your body, ladies. Learn how to dress for your bodies. But if she like it, I love it. Had to cheat on her and whatnot, so they had to recover from that. He, he cut his dreads off. He did the same thing. <laughs> he did the same thing that um, what's that dude from Love and Hip Hop that cut? He had them long dreads and he cut it off and was talking and like he was a, he was a he was a new man. What's that man name? Gunplay, gunplay. Him, same type of dude. But hopefully he doing better. They about to get married. <sighs> Child, they about to get married. They looking at she and her, her, her friend looking at flowers and all that. Is that they mamas don't like each other and they family don't like each other basically. Chevelle, I used to make this mistake all the time too. If you say someone does a 360, that means they stayed the same. That means they did it literally, they turned around, became the same person. So he did a 180. You just said it on TV. I said it one time in class in, in uni, and the way that my teacher tried not to laugh at me, <laughs> he was like. Yes, a 180. And I was like, oh. <laughs> I had to be 16. I was so embarrassed. Like, I will never forget that moment in my life. Let's, you know what? Let's normalize. You know what? Uh, What's that girl name? Chevelle. Don't throw away your wigs. Keep wearing your cheap um, synthetic wigs, honey. My mama didn't wear them type of wigs. My ex mama wears human hair wigs now. But still, they cheat too. Listen. Normalize that, cause why we gotta be spending all that money on it? This is why I grew dreads. You know why I grew? I changed my hair as a dread. I don't got time for that. It's way too much money. Normalize that we can start wearing cheap costume ass wigs. Thank you, cause if we could wear cheap ass AliExpress clothes, why well, we can't have cheap wigs? So you can switch it up every day. You know, switch it up. You know, one one day you got that Dorothy, one day you got that Fantasia. You know, switch it up. Stay, stay the same, Chevelle. You do a 360. Don't do a 180, Chevelle. Do a 360. So, Quaylen so, and Chevelle bring their moms to, to the to the place that they're going to have the wedding at. So, they're just looking at the venue or whatever. So, they don't like each other. I already told you, they moms and they, they family don't like each other. Quaylen mama feel like Chevelle is trying to buy his love and that they really shouldn't be getting married. Like, like he's not really ready to get married. And she's not and she don't feel like Chevelle is the one for Quaylen. And then same thing goes for Chevelle Mama. Chevelle Mama thinks that Quaylen really hasn't changed. He's not really prepared to be a husband and a stepfather because of his cheating, his past and whatnot. 
and they've already you know they've the mothers have told each other their opinions on each other's children and, and their children's relation so Chevelle and her mama with their mama and me wigs and an outfit honey so Chevelle mama like well you know i think she you know she giving her opinion she's like well i think the way this should be the reception blah blah blah, blah. and she's like well if y'all paying for it, i ain't paying it for anything and she's like well and she's saying in the concessional like i ain't paying for nothing because i don't agree with the wedding and so when she said that quayla mama was like okay yeah she, you yeah you'll be right there in the back and quayla mama's like no and now Chevelle mama's like no i'm gonna be right next to my daughter what would do so they about to get into it and Chevelle quayla mama's like i don't get into it with street people and i <laughs> I can respect that they I it reminds me a lot of like lyric lyric and um her when you know from Love and Hip Hop in the moment mom and them beef it was especially with the bad wigs oh my god that is so funny it is just like that <laughs> it is just like that they're funny and they seem so I actually think that they could work it out if they stop cheating they actually might be able to to to. If Quaylen stopped cheating on Chevelle, they might actually be able to last. You know, she wanted to forgive him and move forward. That's all you can. That's all you can do, parents, is accept that. You know, they want to be together. They grown like big grown. So that's all for today. If you liked this review slash recap, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, honey. Thank you for staying this long. And until next time. Mm -hmm.